I wasn't just low, I was dramatically low, you know, like the first time I saw an endocrinologist, he asked me if I was shooting stuff down my arms and I was immediately ordered for a, a brain scan to see if I had a tumor. Hi folks, it's Uranus and welcome to another video. Today I want to talk to you about the physical signs of low testosterone. If you have some warning signs in your body or if you think you might have low testosterone, you definitely want to watch this one. As you might already know, testosterone is the primary sex hormone of the man. This thing affects our bodies like no other hormone. It can make you feel good and look like a god, but it can also make you feel miserable and look like a shadow of your former self. It is the hormone that turns us into primitive creatures called men. How do I know this? Well, this was me at 25 years old. And spoilers alert, my testosterone was almost zero. My testicles were still dormant. I only started my puberty very late in my 20s when I was on hormonal replacement therapy. So for more than a decade, my body suffered from living with low testosterone. So I know a great deal about living with this condition. Now, there are many physical signs of low testosterone, but here are the 10 I suffered with the most. Let's get to it right now. Number one, erections. Low testosterone can and will affect your ability to achieve a quality erection. Your guy down there just doesn't want to get out of bed. And it takes more manual st stimulation to be hard and to stay hard. It can also affect your sperm count and your motility. Your, your swimmers down there, they don't want to swim that much anymore. You're also less interested in anything sexual. You know, your, your girlfriend walks butt naked in front of you and gives you the look and you're more interested to play another game on Warzone. I never had any morning wood when I was deficient in testosterone. To tell you the actual truth, I only had my first real erection when I was 26 years old and I loved it. But before that, my sex drive was almost zero and erectile dysfunction was a real thing. Number two, weakness and inability to build muscle. Testosterone is the most important hormone for building muscle. It stimulates anabolic activity in your body. Trust me, ask these guys. It is super important for your overall strength and muscle building capacities. Also, when your TRT is low, the derivatives of TRT like DHT and estrogen are also low. Dehydrotestosterone is also important for anabolic and androgenic activity in your body. Don't get me wrong, with low testosterone you can still build muscle, like women can build muscle, but as a man it just won't be as effective as if you had normal or high levels. This was a picture of me after losing 20 kilograms in the gym. Losing fat I could do, but building muscle without any testosterone in my body was really tough and I could never have the results that I wanted. On the reference range, I wasn't just low, I was dramatically low, you know, like the first time I saw an endocrinologist, he asked me if I was shooting stuff down my arms and I was immediately ordered for a, a brain scan to see if I had a tumor, so my levels were almost non-existent. Number three, fatigue. With low testosterone, I was chronically tired and I never really felt well rested. I got out of bed after a night's sleep and it would feel like if I hadn't slept at all. My energy levels were always drained. It feels a little bit like you're constantly walking around with a mild hangover. Which brings me to my next point. Recovery after exercise. Not only is your endurance much worse with low TRT, but also your recovery after any type of exercise. It would take days for me to recover after any type of light exercise, like even hiking with the family for an afternoon or something like that. I was always sore and it always took a huge amount of time to recover. I used to get DOMS or muscle pain from carrying grocery bags at home. I remember when I was 25 and I joined the gym and I wasn't yet on hormonal replacement therapy, I was always sore for almost even sometimes maybe more than a week after any kind of workout. I was actually always sore. I woke up sore and I went to the bed sore, but sometimes even just driving my car for multiple hours made my legs sore for a couple of days. 
That's how bad the recovery actually is. Number five, it's easier to build fat and your fat distribution on your body is different with low testosterone. Take a look at this picture right here of my body in my prime 20s. As you can admire, I really had the pear-shaped body with the fat mostly being around my love handles and my hips, just like women. I also had a lot of fat tissue in my breast area. It's also more difficult to keep a lean body when you have low testosterone levels because testosterone promotes lipolysis or the burning of fat. Number six, gynecomastia. Having low testosterone can generate a hormonal imbalance in your body and you can actually start to develop a condition called gynecomastia or man boobs or even worse, bitch tits. Unfortunately, this side effect can remain permanently as you can develop real breast glands and I had this conferred by a mammography and an echography and once you have it, some medications can reduce it but only surgery can get completely rid of gynecomastia. I had predominant gynecomastia for years and I was really ashamed of that because it almost looked like I needed to wear a bra. It also sucks when you're at the seaside and everybody is always fixating your nipples. Luckily, once I lost some fat and I gained some muscles, it got much better. But the actual gland tissue under your nipples, my nipples actually, that will never completely leave. Number seven, osteoporosis. Testosterone affects the strength and the density of your bones. If your bone density is bad, they will break more easily. I learned this the hard way when I was in my mid-twenties and I was ordered a density scan by my endocrinologist and uh, I learned that I had the bones of a 75 year old. I remember I used to break a lot of bones like fingers, toes, arms. Le no, I never broke my legs, but almost all the small bones in my body I probably broke once or twice and I only realized the cause of this once I did the density scan and I was diagnosed with low testosterone and my bones were shit. Number eight, falling sick and inflammation. When I had low testosterone, I would constantly suffer from inflammations and from chronic pains in my body. For example, I used to have this really annoying sinus infections where my nose was like a fountain for an entire day and I would use an entire box of tissues. I went to a specialist and uh, of course he wanted to operate my sinuses but it turns out the only thing I need was a daily shot of orange juice and a weekly shot of testosterone. I also used to be sick much more often. Nothing serious but always this annoying throat pains or a slight flu or something like that but now that I'm on hormonal replacement therapy I'm actually never sick anymore. The bottom line is testosterone is really important for your immunity system. Number nine, blood circulation and bruising. Having low testosterone can really impact your blood circulation. And me, for example, with low testosterone, I would always have my legs or my ass going numb after sitting for too long. My veins were very small and I would get bruises very easily. Sometimes even after the friendly hello punch some men used to greet each other. You son of a bitch. We can be quite primitive creatures from time to time. I also believe having sufficient amount of testosterone in your body is really important for nitric oxide production and for your blood cell count. This is also really important for your cobra down there. Last but not least, hair. And I don't mean this hair, I mean body hair. Low testosterone can actually make you have less body hair and less facial hair. In my case, I never had any body hair until I started hormonal replacement therapy and I only started shaving when I was on HRT and I was about 28 years old. Now, don't go thinking that just because you have a patchy beard or you can't grow, grow a full beard that you have low testosterone. I know a lot of people with a fuckload of testosterone but that can't grow a full beard. Genetics here plays a huge and important role in your beard growth. Also, DHT, which is a derivative of testosterone, is really important for the growth of your facial hair. So these are the 10 major physical symptoms I had to deal with during my journey when I had low testosterone. If you made it this far in the video and you think you might have low testosterone, don't hesitate, don't think too much, get a blood test. Not a test at home. Keep your saliva for sexual practices. These tests, in my opinion, are not accurate enough. Get a full blood test done 
at a, a, a lab, a recognized lab. If you're not sure of what to ask for, I'm an active member of the testosterone forum on Reddit and I put a link in the description towards the testosterone wiki. It contains a mountain of information regarding low testosterone and this condition and it also contains a section with uh, critical blood markers that you should ask if you're going for a test. So the link is down there somewhere in the description and if you like this video and you would like more information about testosterone related issues, I have an entire playlist with videos just like this one coming up. Alright, that's it for today. Let me know in the comments if you think you might suffer from low TRT, subscribe if you like my content and thank you for watching. See you next time, Uranus out.